Hi, let us continue on the theory of statistical tests part 1. We will focus on the power function of a test. So let us see what is the definition of the power function of a test. The power function of a test represents the ability of the decision rule to recognize correctly that h norm is false. The power function of the test is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis given it is false. So that's been the function is called as power if we have the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis as we know that our h norm is false. So we can write the power function of a test as probability reject h naught when h naught is false. So the power function of a statistical hypothesis h naught against h1 is that function defined for all distribution under consideration. So it can be normal distribution, binomial or Poisson. It is also a function that yields the probability of rejecting H0 under consideration. So under theta, if theta is true or theta is false. Okay. So this may yield the probability that the sample point falls in the critical region C of the test. Next, the power function, the value of the power function at a parameter point is called the power of the test at that point. For example, let's say if we use theta equals to 70. So power function of the test, that means the value is at theta equals to 70. So if theta denotes a parameter, the power function is denoted by the symbol k theta. So again, as we recall, the power function of the test is probability reject h naught when h naught is false. So probability reject h naught when h naught is false is the same thing if we write 1 minus probability fail to reject h naught when h naught is false. Since we already know that probability fail to reject h naught or probability accepting h naught when h naught is false is given as beta. So in this case, the power of the test can be write as 1 minus beta. So the power function of a test is the probability of not making type 2 error. So it's the same thing if we call that the power function of a test is the probability of rejecting H0 when H0 is 4. So that means the probability of not making type 2 error since it is 1 minus beta. So one other thing that we have to remember that our alpha is probability rejecting H0 when H0 is true. It's the same thing as we call a significant level, size of the critical region, power of the test when H0 is true, and the probability of committing a type 1 error. Note that the power of a test depends on several factors, including the choice of alpha, the sample size, and the true value of the parameter. So we have choice of alpha the sample size and the true value of the parameter which is for example parameter theta. As the sample size of the sample increase, it will increase the power of the test. So that means if we use n equals to 30 compared with n equals to 90, maybe n equals to 90, it will increase the power of the test. Secondly, if the significant level alpha increase, so in this case if alpha increase, the power of the test will also increase. If our alpha increase, our power will also increase. So this relationship can be constructed by using, let's see. So we have here is our beta. So this one is our alpha. So let's say if we have this one, is our k theta, power of the test. So we have is in this case is our alpha so that's mean this one is zero this one is one so the same thing 0 0.1 up to one so this one is zero and 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 okay 
if you can see at this figure. As our alpha increasing, power will be increased. As our alpha is increased, the power of the test will also increase. Okay. As beta increasing, the power of the test will getting smaller. So that is the relationship between alpha, beta and power. Again, if our alpha is increasing, let's say our alpha is 0 0.9, and then we have the power of the test is approaching to 1. While our beta is getting smaller. But when we, our beta probability of making type 2 error is greater, which is approaching to 1, our power of the test in this case will approaching 0. So that is the relationship between alpha power of the test and also beta. So that's why power of the test is again the same thing if we call probability of not making type 2 error. So that's end on the power on the term or definition of power of the test. We will look at how we can compute the power of the test in the next session. Thank you.